Gemini, this is going to be a reading for uh, July 22nd through the 28th. And I'm going to start you off with a unicorn card from the Oracle of the Unicorns. 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 All right, let's see. Support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. So you need support. Here and something. Let's see what the cards have to say about that. Hmm. So this uh, spread, we're going to take a look at your uh, recent past, your current situation, and your immediate future. And then I'm going to pull up an advice for you. All right, the overall energy, Gemini, for this reading is the High Priestess. Uh, there may be a lack of communication here, of expressing, from what I see from your spread, expressing something here on your part. Or you're um, not communicating with somebody here that uh, you feel very fond Towards. In your huh. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. In your recent past, it's looking like you wanted to take action on something. You were very determined. You were like, but it's looking also very impulsive, which is, it could be Gemini, it could be that go getter part. And the other part of Gemini is like, N -n -n nope, you're not going anywhere. Uh, so it's very contradicting here. It's like on one side you wanted to take action on something very, very fast. You wanted to move really, really fast towards something. And the other side of you was like, mm, I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not going to do this. And you ended up being in this position here. which res So it all resulted in you not doing anything at all in regards to the situation. You were like, I'm, I'm refusing to move. Here. In your current situation, hmm. again, it's looking like you're looking at several options here. It's looking like you're painting this picture. Well, not painting. I mean, these options are real, but you're like, I can choose this, I can choose that, I can choose that, I can choose that, I can choose whatever I want. But deep down, you're unhappy. You're really unhappy about something here. Even though these options are presenting themselves to you, they're not making you happy. There's something here that makes you unhappy in the current situation. And it is in regards to love here. This could talk about a offer that you, and I, I think it relates to this chariot here. You wanted to go offer something to somebody, some love here. Or somebody wanted to do, but I feel like this is you. And you didn't do it. You ended up not doing it. In your immediate future, huh. as bad as things are looking in your immediate future, they're ending up on a good note. Not bad. Uh, it seems like you're still going to be undecided about something. You're still going to be thinking, do I want red or blue? Do I want right or left? Do I want up or down? You're not going to be able to make up your mind on something still. And it's keeping you stuck. Of course it's keeping you stuck. It's like you don't really know what to choose for yourself. You don't really know what, what do I want? You're in that kind of state here. And it's keeping you stuck. It's keeping you blindfolded. This is self-imposed, by the way. You can get out of this. 
But it's looking like you're gonna, because at the end of it all, you're just gonna go within and look for the answers there, which that's the best place to look for answers inside. That's where the answers are. So let's clarify things if we can here. Uh, let's clarify the high priestess. This could also talk about uh, giving birth, not necessarily to babies, although most of the times, yeah, it means that. But giving birth to new ideas, to, I don't know, new beginnings here. Could talk about a lot of things. This card is very, it's highly spiritual here. This card. Uh, let's clarify that. Let's figure out what that is. Yeah, it is in regards to a connection here. You want to offer love to somebody that's very dear to you. You want to fix the situation. You want to offer this person that communication that is going to bring you two back together. Because I feel like you're not in communication right now, even. Uh, yeah, you're not communicating right now. But you, you do want to. Um, hmm. let's clarify this four of pentacles in your past let's see what you're uh, resisting here there's something here in regards to a loving connection here somebody that loves you somebody that you love very very much but you are uh, resisting that. It's it's kind of pressing on you. It's making you feel burdened. This situation here, whatever this is, this connection, and uh, you feel like your other person is trying to get away with something here. At the same time, so you're suspicious on, on your person here. That's why you're resisting it. It's You don't really trust them for some reason. Let's take a look at this hangman in your past. So while you were sitting here and not doing anything about the situation, you weren't acting on this connection, uh, things were unfolding right underneath your nose. This was the perfect kind of connection for you and you knew it. This was something that um, was had the potential of offering you equal give and take. Um, perfect kind of loving person here. The kind of person that everybody wants in their lives, everybody wants to grow old with. This is the person and it's your wish come true. But something prevented you from acting towards this person here. Uh, let's uh, clarify the Seven of Cups in your current situation. <clears throat> I feel like you're gonna feel a sudden need and a sudden pressure on you to make that choice in regards to this person. You're gonna feel very, very pushed into a corner by the universe, by the way. They're gonna be like, um, it's time. It's time to make up your mind in regards to this person. And you may be dealing with a um, Virgo here. Um, let's take a look at this Ten of Swords. Whew. 
Ooh, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Somebody's come. Somebody's coming towards you with an offer of love here, and they're gonna be really, really. Even though it's it's loving, it's gonna be really straightforward. Like. Are you done with the juggling? Are you done with the indecisiveness? Are you done with not knowing what you want? And it's going to break you down. And it's going to be hard for you to hear that. It's not going to necessarily put you back into that place of not really knowing what you want. But it's, it's, it's not going to be something that you're going to love to hear from this person. Because you do love this person and this person loves you. But they kind of need the final answer here from you in regards to this love. Uh, uh, oh, apparently you are going to be put into this place of, uh, I don't know what to do again. You know, so, wow, it's a back and forth here of the same kind of thing here with you 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 it's looking like you're going through a very difficult time here where you cannot make up your mind about this connection here or whatever you're going through uh let's clarify this eight of swords in your immediate future yeah something that feels very rushed to you is it keeps putting you into this places of you feel cornered whatever's happening around you you feel like why the hell do i need to decide now but you you kind of have to because somebody is offering you a chance to build something together here for a connection there's an offer coming in for you and it's moving fast that's why i'm saying it's going to make you feel a little cornered and it's going to put you into this juggling state here not juggling not even knowing what you want do i really want this do i and i feel like with the hermit here you're gonna be like okay hold off i need time to think about this i need my own time to absorb the information to work with it to see if i want it or not because all of this energy that's it's like uh, how do i see this it's like when you think you put something to rest, bam, something else hits you. And then you need to make up your mind fast. That's what it's feeling like for you. Like, um, I need an answer right now. Well, I don't have an answer. No, you give me an answer right now. Kind of like that. And I feel like it's making you a little crazy here. So you're just going to be like, um, I need a break from all of this. I need some time for myself to think about things and think about what I want. That's why I'm so confused. That's why I can't take any decisions here. Because all of you want me to... It's just one of me. And I don't know how many of the other persons here. But you can't work like that. You can't function like that. So you're going to take a break. Which is, I think, the best thing you can do in this situation. It's this constant back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Until you're going to scream it out. Like, I... ah. Go away, all of you. I need my break. All right, so let's pull up an advice for you. I feel like you want to be single. I feel like if you are in a connection, if you were in a connection, you just want to... You want to be single for a while. You want to be like... I need to gather up my strength here. I need to get back in my own power here. Because I feel like with all this energy going on around you, you feel a little lost. And I'm not saying, you know, you probably, if you're in contact with somebody, well, not in contact, if you're connected to somebody, uh, even though you're not in contact, even though, you know, for now, it's looking like you want your independence. You want to work on yourself which is the best thing to do and once you do that once you achieve that independence and that freedom for yourself then then this can happen you and your full power here making decisions for yourself the right decisions 
So yeah, take some time for yourself here. Disconnect. It's fine. Whoever, like a true friend, a tr somebody that really cares about you will understand. Whoever doesn't, screw it. You need time for yourself sometimes. So do that. Disconnect for a little bit. All right, Gemini? Uh, I will see you next time. Bye.